Okay, quick internal look on uh, this uh, Roxy power supply. A um, couple of things of note, the screws for the handle are loose, so just double check that and uh, tighten them accordingly. Um, something else worth noting if you uh, lose boxes of fuses around the workshop or whatever you've got, you can pull this fuse holder out, it's got a 5 amp slow blow in there and it's actually got space for a spare so if you've got a spare 5 amp just pop it in there and uh, whoops, pop that back in so you know you've got a spare one there if it ever uh, pops that fuse there we go now that is in so looking at the back we have that USB uh, circuit board there and that is recognized instantly you plug it into the PC it doesn't matter whether this is powered on or not we have a big chunky relatively quiet fan there we've got the mains input coming to the front to the switch and back out again and the uh, connections have been soldered uh, onto uh, that board I'm not sure I'm a real big fan of just simply soldering on mains power wires. Um, 200 volt caps here and it's just the way they have been uh, joined together in the uh, circuit that makes that okay. 160-ish um, volts on, the, on those. That's just the way they've been wired in. The bridge rectifier here this is the uh, negative uh, leg so I was a bit concerned that you could just I mean a kid could just reach through with anything and just touch that leg um, through the grill uh, not so much of a, an issue um, still don't like it I would have rather have had a sheet here just uh, marking off this um, section um, all the components appear to be uh, marked uh, so should be no so oops, no surprises if anything does go wrong it seems pretty well made I did question that thermistor attachment there but um, it's very really hard to see whether it's making good contact I can't even get a decent position to film it but just not quite sure it's touching uh, correctly could be, but I'm not sure. Not expecting this to overheat. I won't be using it for any high power work. Um, so there's a little buzzer that you can activate if you want. Certainly, I don't want to hear key button uh, bleeps. That's an unusual. What is that? Oh, that is the output there. Don't really like just to see that hanging off. At that sort of angle, especially as it's not so uh, glued down in any way. That is uh, earth, the, as you know, the center socket is earth, the ground is the far socket, and that goes to these uh, pillars, and that washer is mounted underneath the pillar. So it's screwed in top there and uh, underneath and the earth from the plug cable is uh, just down at this other end with an exact same arrangement. As I said all these components are, if I can get that to show up, no, it's just getting the lighting right, oh there we go, don't know whether you can see that or not, there's nothing uh, particularly unusual or exotic in uh, any of this. The uh, capacitors all seem to be 105 degree types which is nice. There's a little bit of hot melt glue that's been put on some of these, well I think all of the sockets, uh, but it is not dripping down onto the circuit board that can, can cause uh, cor corrosion and uh, problems at a later date. It is actually just on the sockets so uh, yeah, it all seems pretty reasonable so yeah not much to say about that I'm quite happy with uh, most of it could have done with some 
shielding, I think, from prying fingers and screwdrivers, but you know, other than that, for 60 quid, I think it is quite reasonable. So, yeah, there we go, just a quick look at, uh, at that. The seal on the back, I mean, it just came off, it's not really a seal as such, is it? Uh, when it peels off. So that's going to go back on like it's not been uh, tampered with. The uh, input voltage is fixed for the UK and the switch for dual voltage is actually missing from there just to save a few uh, pence. Again that does leave a hole behind the label there, not a particular problem. So uh, yeah, there we go. Just thought you'd like a quick look at the internals of that. Actually, I think for <laughs> sixty quid, it's uh, it's pretty good. Not uh, not too bad at all.